Okay. Next question. Uh, did the disciples exist? The twelve disciples of Jesus, um, you know, exist. In your thoughts, um, how do you? How did the legends of their travels and their deaths get recorded? Yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't think. I, well, we don't really know. Let's put it that way. Right. Um, so the only ones that we know for sure or have really good evidence for is because Paul says he met uh, Kephas, which means this is Peter, James, and John. He doesn't call them disciples. The word disciple does not appear anywhere in Paul. Uh, he just knows them as apostles, and apostles is someone who's received a revelation of Jesus who appointed them a messenger for the gospel. Um, so, that, so at least we know those three names, and they do line up with the top three gospel, or top three who are called disciples in the gospels. The first time they're called disciples is in the gospels. Uh, and the top three are the same, the same three. It's uh, uh, Kephas, James, and John. So there does seem to be a line up there, and th those are probably historical people or intended to be. I doubt the Gospels record any historically accurate information about them. They're making that up, I think. But, uh, but they're at least using known people. Now, when you get beyond that, the Gospels don't even agree on what the other uh, nine people were. Um, and uh, we have no records of them. We, have, uh, we can't identify any of the letters that we have as actually coming from them. Uh, we have no third-party records of them. The Book of Acts uh, barely knows what happened to a lot of them. And even the Book of Acts is not necessarily reliable because it's just, it seems to be making stuff up as well. And when you get to the first legends of them, we're, in, we're now we're in the second century, and we have like really ridiculous stories uh, being told. You know, like you know, John walks around, goes to an inn, commands bed bugs to obey his will, and you know these kinds of ridiculous stories. So. Uh, it, which show no evidence of any sources, right? Like, so like Peter getting crucified upside down. And right, and that yeah, that comes out uh, in uh, the yeah, Acts. That's, that's, that's famous, the that's the famous. That's the Acts yeah. of yeah, the Acts of Peter, which is actually a Gnostic text. Oh. It's not even a, a text that's from the Orthodox tradition, and that also has ridiculous stories like uh, you know Nero watching the. Um, this wizard fly through the air. Nero and all of Rome watching this wizard fly through the air. There's talking dogs. There's, yeah. you know, resurrection of a dead fish. Like, it, it's, it's, you know, this is not a believable story. And it doesn't show any evidence of any um, connection to any kind of sources or reality. In that oh. sense. So, so, yeah, so the legends just grow and become ridiculous over time. So we can't use them as history. Uh, and so we don't know. We don't know what happened to these people. Um, all of their actual writings were destroyed. They're lost. We don't, we don't get to see them. We don't get to know what they... Uh, said or did, and the the other apostles that Paul mentions as being active and kind of the the top dogs at the time, like Apollos and Junius and things, are not don't even appear in the Gospels. So, so there's there's no real there, there's confusion as to who these people were and what they were doing. Um, so no, we don't know a whole lot about them.